with our live pilchards. We fire them back here on this little piece of, I'm not sure what it is. I ran over recently. It was full of life. I said, we got to try to catch a couple of snapper for dinner. Jeff is on it. He knows all kinds of stuff. And so when he tells you that he's got something that he just found, I got pretty excited. Oh, oh my gosh. big gag, dude. That, dude. That's awesome. That's awesome. That is a great That's fish, a giant. dude. You got him? Yeah. Get him, Tom. Go. I'm back, back him out of here. Yeah, yeah, back him up, back him up. Nice job, Dash dude. Him, boys. Oh! Yeah! Come on, come on. Oh! He ate it. He ate it. He ate it. Nice, baby. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I thought you said you had to. I got him. Relax. Oh! Dude, he just ripped my boat off. Oh! Awesome. Look at that big boy. K Saltwater Experience, presented by Yellowfin, with Captain Tom Rowland and Captain Rich Tudor. We had an opportunity to go fishing with Jeff Malone, and we've done this a number of times. We fished with him for permit. Man, we fished right out here in front of Hawks K. We've caught permit with him. We've caught bonefish with him. Got baby tarpon with Jeff. Jeff is on it. He knows all kinds of stuff. And so when he tells you that he's got something that he just found, I got pretty excited. So I get down here early, start getting the tackle ready, start easing the boat down off the lift, and you know I've got things kind of prepared for when you and Jeff show up and we're gonna make a game plan about going to this new wreck. Yeah, man, Jeff and I were walking down the dock just reminiscing, we hadn't gotten to fish together for a long time and uh, he says, I was running around yesterday and I found a shipwreck that I'd never seen before. And this is where this guy's out there every day and he was so excited that he found a spot that he'd never found before. So he's like, it looked like it had all kinds of life on it. We can go hit that later. So we, uh, we rolled out of here, ran down Marathon Oceanside a little bit to a bait spot there. This is where I like to be, and it's clean right here. Shallow, but it's clean. I like this way better. This is what they like. There they are. Bingo. I saw some running for the rod. That should have been a good one. They were running that way. I see some shiny. A little bit of shiny, shiny, flashy, flashy. Pretty good shot, Jeff. Not bad, man. We got a few more, a few more wigglers here. The pillars were a little difficult, but we managed to catch catch enough to go with. Um, he said, I don't need a lot, just a, just a few. So we uh, caught what we needed, blazed out, and while well, he's pulling up to this wreck, he said, never fished it. You know, and it's like, you have a hard time believing that. A guy that's out there every day, but he's like, I just found it, I just found it, never fished it. It looked good, but he was confident, you know, like he didn't even want to go to one of his old fashioned, he wanted to try this, something new. It's always fun to try something new and because it's unexpected, you don't know what's there. So I think that with our live pilchards, we fire them back here on this little piece of, I'm not sure what it is, I ran over it recently, it was full of life. I said, we gotta try to catch a couple of snapper for dinner. Yeah. Because there was all kind of life on it. There were snappers on it, look downs on it, and just, there was a ball of life on it. Um, so I thought we would throw a couple of pilchards down there, see if we can catch a couple of mangrove snapper for dinner. Sounds good. Um, and on a windy afternoon, I think it's a great Sounds place great. to, to Should give we fish some of these heavier rods? You can't, you yeah, expected? because I'd like you to stop them. Yeah, you know you're I mean? expecting, I mean, this is a... But it should be nice size mangroves. This snapper. is a 15-pound rod. That'd be great. The new wreck comes at a perfect time. We've got these new rift rods from St. Croix. Got those on uh, Daiwa Saltiga reels, and it's a perfect combination for a big fish. I've been looking for something big to pull on, and I knew Jeff was probably the man to, to find us something big to pull on. Oh, something busted there, but that yeah. ain't good. That looked like a mackerel. You see that? Yeah. Been chasing him. Probably something stopped. bit me. Did he get him? Oh, big mac! Holy mackerel! Did you yeah, see that we mac? need. Yeah, I mean, that we, need, we got a little wire. We got a little wire. Yeah, we I got can a catch wire him. Rig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get it. Out. Here, Jeff, right there. Catch him. Oh, look at this. What, what is that following it? Is that cobia? Is that? I don't know. Grouper. It was a grouper. Was it a grouper? Was it? Yeah, yeah, it was a gag. big gag. That's that cool, was a man. big gag. What he's chasing after that? Big you think? Gag. He just ate it. He just ate it. He's got him on. Big gag. Get him! Get him, Dan! Come oh, on, man. God. If he, he was coming after this. Big jack. That's wow. cool, coming man. Coming after this jack. Wow, that was That's big. That's pretty awesome. I gotta come back. That gag grouper was following a, a jack like this, ready to eat that jack. He was gonna eat that jack. That got me pretty excited because I figure, I mean, my experience with the gag groupers is that they like to huddle in certain type of structures and they like to do it when it's cool. I'm like, man, if there's one there, there could be 50 in there. Oh, oh my 
gag, dude. That, dude. That's awesome. That is awesome. That is a great That's fish, dude. Wow. That is a great fish. Wow. How cool I is thought that? that's what it was, but I wasn't sure, man. I mean, he's awesome, man. That's probably, a, that's probably the biggest a, gag I've ever caught. Dude, he's awesome. I was just asking you about gags. There's one. Oh, better get some drag oh, out there. better get him, man. Get him. Come on, Tom. Stop him. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, get he's him. in. Get him out of there. You need to grab him? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. It was all I could do to keep him out of there. And, um, you know, luckily, he chased that jack of yours far enough away where I had a chance and finally get him up there. And it's a giant gag. Yeah, a really quality fish and a good job to get it on, on the light rod. But I hook up also with something that is really pulling, even on the big rod, it is really pulling. And it actually pulls me right into that wreck. And I just ease the pressure off. Sometimes when you ease the pressure off, they'll think that they're free now. Okay, nice you're not going to believe dude. this, but get you him, got him, yours him, out now? All right. Nice fish, man. What a beautiful it. gag. All right, Mr. Gruber. Here, here's a matching set. You got a matching Whoa. one? <laughs> no <laughs> way. <laughs> you got a gag, too. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Double gag city. Look at that. How about that, dude? That <laughs> is awesome. <laughs> nice work, bro. You got a spot you've there. never fished before, you said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. You never know what you're going to find out here. You got him? Yeah. Get him, Tom. Go. I'm gonna back, back him out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back him up, back him up, back him up. <laughs> nice job, dude. Nice work, boys. The Hawks K Saltwater Experience, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Hawks K. Find what lures you. Lawrence, America's number one fish finder. Waypoint, the destination for outdoor entertainment. Mercury Marine, go boldly. St. Croix Rods, the best rods on earth. Marathon in the Florida Keys. And by Ameritrail Trailers. Daiwa. Black Rifle Coffee Company. Power Pole. And Reflex Boat Decking. Goes to show you about using a bigger bait, huh? Oh, we had uh, we had the jack on. Well, I wasn't gonna. That one wasn't Dude, coming out. How awesome is that? Sweet. That, even the small one's probably illegal Dude, size, huh? Beautiful fish. Look at the beautiful fish. Man, they just uh, the gag groupers. Dude. Maybe I think it might be my favorite grouper. They're cool. Bookends. Yours was a little bigger, but two nice gags right there. That was one heck of a way to start on on that wreck what a what and totally awesome unexpected way. i mean jeff literally said you know let's we're going snapper fishing we're going to pull up here and catch some nice mangroves he was his optimistic was to catch some three to four pound mango snapper for dinner and our first two cast <laughs> giant gags it was awesome that was fantastic jeff has the same experience i do that when you start catching those gag grouper there could be a lot of them in there so i was expecting to catch more that is one of the Tom Roland sayings that, that I've learned from. Go ugly early. If you're going to throw in there, you might as well throw you the big heavy. You go big right now because that's when your bite's going to happen. Like oh, right now. Oh, boy. some drag on that get sucker. Him, Tom, get him, get him, get him. Stop him, dude. This rod is get amazing, him, man. Get him, buddy. I get love him. this rod. Oh, boy. Nice work. Just go easy. Don't straighten out that hook. You don't got that big a hook on yeah, there. I'm gonna so go, go with easy it. on the. I've got the right tackle. I'm using the rift, the St. Croix rift rod with the Daiwa Saltiga 14,000 reel. I've got heavy line, and I'm able to really put the brakes on that fish and start pulling him in. But I was like, man, this thing is really strong. Like the other gag was strong, but this thing, this is different altogether. And sure enough, it was different altogether. Didn't you this was gonna be bigger than the first one. I hope so. Tom, dude. didn't you gag group of fish in the winter like this? Yeah. That'll be sweet. <laughs> No, oh, this might be a Goliath. That's all right. Whatever he is, get him up here. Oh, boy. Yeah, you're right, it is. Goliath? Perfect size awesome, Goliath. Man. Yeah, I think so. Perfect yeah. size. Mm -hmm. Is that what it is, a Goliath? That's so cool. Nice. Dude, I love those fish. Look at that crab he kicked up. Yep. I bet he's got a bunch of them in his throat. It was the same shape, but different species. And I love Goliath groupers. I just think that they are just so cool. They just sit in these wrecks and they're big and they eat everything. They usually cough up all kinds of crabs while, and all kinds of crazy things that they've been eating. I mean, they are the king of that wreck. They're absolutely the king. And so I pull in one that was, you know, kind of a small Goliath, but it would have been a big gag 
but man, that thing fought hard. And it was the perfect opportunity to pull like crazy with that, that rift rod. I just couldn't believe how that thing could whip a fish like that so fast. <laughs> Bad fish, dude. Strong. Nice work, Tom. Bet there's more of those in there, too. I bet there are. All right, dude. See you later, big dog. Filming this show and doing all the other things that I do, I'm traveling all over the country all the time and I prefer to drive. And when I drive, I like to take all the things I like to have at home. I keep a little kit, a travel kit, right in the car, never go anywhere without it. In my loadout go box, I keep all my coffee making supplies here, vitamins, everything that I need on a daily basis. Got pre-made protein shakes, everything in here. This basically just stays in the car all the time so I know that I've got all that stuff. The second thing that I take with me everywhere is the roadie wheeled cooler. This thing is fantastic. A lot of people like it that you can keep a full bottle of wine in here standing up. I particularly like the one hand latches and the fact that this is a Yeti product and it's built like all other Yeti products. The thing is absolutely bomb proof. And the big complaint for a lot of people was that Yetis were fantastic. They held ice for days or weeks, but a little bit heavy and they didn't have wheels. That is solved on this one. This has a never flat wheels. It also has a really heavy duty handle so that I can take stuff down to the boat in the morning, all of our lunches, everything that we're gonna take down to the boat, ice, everything, wheel that thing down the dock and get it to the boat. I keep it in my truck for all my pre-made meals and everything that I'm gonna have on the road. And then, of course, if we're going to a soccer game or something like that, it's fantastic for taking all the kind of drinks and ice down for the team. So whether you're a TV host with a very hungry crew and lots of heavy things to take to the boat, or you're going down to the soccer game with drinks for the entire team, the roadie wheeled cooler is the way to go. smartest thing you did was immediately go to these bigger rods and you've you've kind of taught me that lesson is is uh you know go ugly early you know don't don't go with the light stuff when you when you first get to these spots you don't know the biggest fish are probably going to eat first and um you know if you throw in there with a light thing you end up getting smoked yeah like if you fish your heavy tackle early and the only thing that's there are smaller fish you can always go to lighter tackle but when you start with light tackle and one of them smokes you under the bushes or takes you into the wreck that fish isn't going to bite again so go heavy early and um, that has paid off for us in a lot of situations, and it certainly did in this situation. Oh boy, that's not good. Yeah. You better buckle up. <laughs> Pull on. I was born buckled. <laughs> oh, you got him coming. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. <laughs> I mean, putting the big rods down there and you gotta buckle I up, man. It. I mean, I love it. Get him, Tom. <laughs> it's gonna be a good one. What's your prediction on this one? Gag. Doing good, Tom. Doing good, buddy. Keep after him. Nice. You know, That's another beautiful gag, bro. Beautiful oh my gag. Gosh. Dude, this another is the best gag grouper gag. fishing I've ever seen. Oh my gosh, look at that <laughs> thing. Gag. It's bigger than the other one. Holy crap. <laughs> Let me grab him, Tom. I got him, buddy. Oh, he is barely hooked in the That's nose. That's okay, bring him here, bring him here. Bring Ooh, look at that. He is so barely hooked. That's okay, bring him here. That's what happened to that other one that I lost. Dude. Wow. Now, man, that you, know, is you a, hear a lot of people talk about going up to the to the west coast of Florida and, exactly. and having this gag gripper fishery thing. like this, but you got it. It's just as good right here, dude. Look at that thing. There were a lot of gags in there, and uh, I love the gag gripper. But what our target was the big mangrove snappers that were there. But I think on that day, the gag groupers were so aggressive that we weren't getting the bite from the from the mangroves. Three, two. One, he's ready to go. That's so awesome, man. Go. <laughs> wow. I gotta get a new jig in, look at that. He took it out. So, are you telling me the truth? You've never fished this spot before? <laughs> hey, That's incredible. Out. I promise you, he never fished it before. No, Otherwise, you, we'd you be can, catching a bunch of little ones. You can tell. Are you by tight? 
You can tell by the Oh way. my goodness. That's a bigger fish. You what can, I can tell is you, you, better, you, oh, you better buckle up. That's it a big feels fish. Like a nurse shark. Look at the size of that thing. I think it's a nurse shark. Is it okay? Is this way it's shaking its head and everything? Yeah, maybe you're I'm right. I'm glad you, you got, got that one out of the way. I didn't want to catch that <laughs> anyway. You catch the groupers, I'll deal with the, the bycatch. And Jeff, you know, Jeff really didn't seem like he was even that interested in fishing because he was so interested in seeing what it was. You know, he's standing up as high as he can and everything that we're hooking, he's trying to get a look at. You know, it's not even important that we land it. He just wants to see what it is. Oh, another gag. You know, even if he just got a little flash and would see it, he mentally file that away if those are the things that are there because now that spot's gonna be on his milk route. He's gonna go there and, and catch these fish. And we certainly know that there's some really good gag groupers in there. What do you think if we wanted to rig up that big run? You think we might get that a bigger one? Mm -hmm. And uh, would, would we? Uh... He might be out there lurking too, which is why those other guys are like, uh uh. Yeah, I just got to rig up that big rig with um, something serious. We'll give it a shot. You know, we had had an awesome day at this point, and uh, you know, thinking, okay, this has been awesome, you know. And Jeff's like, oh no, we're not, we're not done yet. And so out comes the, the biggest rod we've got in the boat. We get our biggest bait that we, we have, rig it up, get very close to the wreck, and uh, Jeff's like, I, I think I could see him right there. Just let it sit there a second. If you feel him thumping, he's on. I think he's there. I think he's close. I saw a shadow come out. Just, just be ready. There's he's something. right. He's close. There's he's, something. Cl he's close. You feel him eat it? Let him eat it. Let him eat it. He's right up against the. He's following, he's coming, he's coming, Tommy, you get it? You feel there him? There he goes. He swam back under he's the front. He's going, he's going. You got him? Not yet. There he is. You got him? Yep. Get him, Tom, go. I'm gonna back, back him out up. of here. Yeah, 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 back him up, back him up, back him up. Back him up, back him up, do something. You got him, Tom? Yep. Am I okay to keep going hang back? Hang on, buddy, hang on tight, buddy, hang on tight. Go to the bow if you want. That's probably good, Rich. That's probably good, buddy. Nice job, dude. Nice work, boys. That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> that is cool. Sight casting them. The Hawks K Saltwater Experience, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Yellowfin. Live deeper. Hook. Tackle Direct, the world's premier fishing outfitter. Yeti, built for the wild. Key Largo in the Florida Keys. And by Golden Boat Lifts, Power Pole Move, Nikon, and Lithium Pros. Did you know you can get every episode of Saltwater Experience completely free on Waypoint TV? Go to waypointtv.com and find out how you can download the app or find it on any smart TV. And if that's not enough, you can find the Tom Rowland Podcast on Apple, Spotify, or anywhere you find podcasts. And we'd love to have you as a follower on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Neither one of you guys were all that interested in uh, in fighting the the Goliath grouper that might be there. I love pulling on heavy, big fish. It was it seemed like a great idea to me, and the water's clear enough to where you can look down, you can see this little boat or whatever it is there, and you know you can maybe just see the Goliath stick his head out of a hole or whatever's there, and he's living in there. There's probably more than one, so you throw the biggest bait in there, waiting, waiting, and there is nothing, nothing in fishing that's as cool as the Goliath grouper bite. You've got that big bait in there, and then it's like, boom, boom. And then just that line just starts to slowly move. He comes out, boom, boom, and then he just starts to head back in there. And if you can come tight to him before he really turns around and goes there, you got a chance. So I got on it as soon as I could, but we were, had the right tackle. We were able to pull him out, even though, I mean, he was pulling. Those fish are strong, man. Very strong. He's a nice fish, nonetheless. That's that, a beautiful, that reel did the job. That's a beautiful no, fish. There's yeah, no dude. problem with this reel. This reel could handle a hundred of these things. I mean, Jeff, dude, talk well. about finding a little nugget, mm. man. All kinds of groupers, <laughs> big friggin' giant gags, uh, goliaths. 
Cool Even place. Even a little black. Cool place. Cool Good snapper city. for dinner. And then something big for Tom to pull on. I gotta admit, that is my favorite part. Here, I'll get this out of your way. Yeah, thank you. Come here, big dog. Look at that. There's our bait. He makes our bluefish look little, doesn't he? Yeah, buddy. Okay, so I got the oh, D-hooker sure here. Oh, man, look at the size of that mouth. And I still yeah. got him. Wow. How far back in there? Is the hook out of it's it? not bad. Not bad. It's right there. We can get it. Okay, um, yeah. Okay. Nope. Beautiful fish. Anyway, I'll tell you what, so I can you probably just grab it out. Yeah. So, yeah. He might shake and okay. take off. But We're no. clear. That? Clear! That is awesome, dude. Look at the size of that friggin' <laughs> mouth. <laughs> tell you what, Jeff. Wow. That's a perfect capper to a perfect day, what man. What do you think, man? That was pretty awesome, huh? Yeah. Hey, look, this is kind of cool. Look how sharp those are right there. I mean, yeah. boy, that thing right there will get you. That whole, that fish has got all kinds of stuff to get you. Oh, yeah. The dorsals are mean. Most importantly, the mouth will eat anything yeah, he wants. Yeah, I know. All right, let's say goodbye to him. All right, we'll see you later, big dog. Have Thanks a nice an afternoon. Awesome day, dude. Oh, thank you guys for having me. I appreciate it. Woo! See you, big dog. <laughs> good. Nice job, Tom. That's one, dude. That was good stuff, Tom. Thanks, man. Jeff, dude. What a day, man. <laughs> that was cool, man. That was awesome. That was cool. Yeah.